This right here is the brand new 2021 Ram TRX, the super truck meant for off-roading. But in this video, I want to test it as a truck, which means a vehicle used for hauling and towing. But more specifically, I want to show you guys the brand new Ram system called Trailer Reverse Steering Control. Basically a computerized system that helps a driver back up a trailer. This is a brand new system for 2021, and I'm gonna do this in this way. I'm gonna back up a trailer down the long alley, make a couple of very difficult turns by myself, and then use the system and compare. As you can see on the mirrors, there is no blind spot monitor symbol, so this truck is not equipped with that. For this, I'm using my favorite hitch. This is the Gen Y glider. And because we have a light trailer today, this hitch is rated to up to 7,000 pounds. It will work great. The entire trailer backup system relies on this, the tailgate camera. So it needs to be clear, uh, no mud, no snow, no ice, and unobstructed. But that's basically it. There is no special setup. You may be aware of the Ford system, right? And Ford actually gives you a sticker that you're supposed to put somewhere on the frame of the trailer and then measure and put measurements into the computer and Ford and do all the stuff. And I'm gonna show that to you in the next part in this series. But for this, you just need to calibrate the camera and go. So before the system can be used, you have to calibrate the trailer. And it's a very simple procedure, basically driving about 100 feet making a 90 degree turn and driving another 100 feet and making another 90 degree turn. The light has to be solid when the system is fully calibrated and functional. And once that's done, the truck should remember your trailer or your last five trailers in fact. So before using this new trailer steering system from Ram, I opened up the manual and actually took a look. And it's very simple, it's just a couple of pages. And I wanted to actually make sure I understood it because I wanted to demo it to you. But in theory, really, it's pretty easy to understand. But if you wanna know all the intricacies of it and actually when the system may not be fully functional, um, you need to read the manual, of course. It says shift to R and use an arm to steer. I got a solid light, the system is ready, and actually, that was really easy. So like I said, the first test will be me backing up the trailer by myself using the camera, the reverse camera, and the mirrors. I'm not using the knob or the trailer backup system. And the TRX is rated to tow about, or up to 8,100 pounds, like our truck is right here. And of course, this system will be available on any 2021 Ram 1500 truck, not just the TRX. The TRX, they kind of debuted the system with the TRX, but the system will be available uh, basically for any, any new Ram actually, for at least 1500s, and probably very soon for the heavy duties as well. Our office manager and producer, Zach, his car is here. Uh, making it very, very difficult for me to to actually line up and in fact, I need to straighten out. It was very hard for me to see. negotiate a 90 degree turn and then another 90 degree turn okay so this TRX is not equipped with 360 degree cameras, which is kind of a bummer, but we wanted a very basic truck. Okay, I kind of messed up this turn in this narrow alley. 
a little bit not that great but still I can uh, even out and actually line up for my final turn and I put cones there all right task done let me go see okay so considering <laughs> what I had to do I think I did a pretty decent job I didn't have to reposition myself too many times um, and uh, actually well, I have a lot of space left so the question is how's the truck gonna behave and how will I be able to control it with the knob is it gonna be easier or harder let's find out I think the really neat feature of this system is that similar to Ford in fact when you're backing up straight if you let go of the steering knob here it will keep the truck and trailer straight which is really cool for like boat ramps and they said if you're using boats you'll probably have to calibrate it with the boat and without the boat so because the trailer looks different in um, each case okay so enabling the system it says shift to park it says trailer steering ready shift to R and use the knob to steer the trailer and the light is solid all right steer put it in reverse and look look at the steering wheel I'm not touching it obviously so let me uh, start this procedure huh all right so I'm using the brake and the gas if I need it and I'm steering using the knob so actually I need to go into this alley I'm turning the knob I'm not touching the steering wheel I want maximum turn okay so far the system is functioning and I'm using the steering knob now I'm gonna let it go and I, I need to the truck and trailer to straighten out and according to the system that's how it works I need to have the truck and trailer straight a little bit more I need to help it a little bit more You know, it's not as great as I expected. So, one thing at first, I didn't feel I quite had enough range. I felt like when I was steering by myself, I could jackknife the trailer a little bit more. Uh, and the steering system doesn't let me kind of jackknife as much. So I need to recalibrate my brain just a little bit. Now I'm gonna kind of flip go of the knob and have it, have it have it kind of straighten out okay I'm backing up with no touching of the steering wheel I'm not touching the steering wheel actually I had more space now so I think the system is a little bit more cautious than I would be by myself. But moving slowly, it's working great so far. It's keeping me right straight like I'm backing up, backing down a boat launch ramp. Okay, I'm cranking it the other way. I'm now using the knob to steer. trying to just make it and it's not quite jackknifing it as much as I wanted it to okay let me try one more time okay so let me start to steer of course I'm watching my mirrors like a hawk if I scratch anything including this TRX Roman will have my head on a platter so I think the system is being a little bit overly cautious and it's not letting me make drastic drastic turns once again I'm straightening out not touching it not touching it and the system is straightening the truck and trailer out and I think it can do that pretty well now 
and now I gotta go the other way. Okay. Am I running over the cone? There goes your cone, Andre. Okay, so I can make my verdict. Let me stop the truck. All right, so here's my verdict. Um, did this uh, run manually and using the steering system with the truck. And what I'm learning with this backup uh, control system, this trailer reverse steering, is that it's not as aggressive to steer the trailer as I would be personally. Um, I think I can jackknife the truck and trailer just a little bit more extremely to make a tight turn. And this system is kind of, it wants to do it gently. So <laughs> you have to be used to that. But what I love is that backing up down a straight alley, it was super easy. I let go of the uh, steering wheel and the truck was true with the trailer. Uh, once again, you have to kind of recalibrate your brain if you have been towing yourself and make your turns way sooner than you would need to. So that's interesting. I turned the truck off, I turned it back on, I jumped back in, I pushed the trailer steering button and it remembered the trailer. The system is on, enabled, it says shift to reverse, trailer steering active, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my turn early. I'm just trying it one more time to get it by the cones. And you see I have to hold it this way in the direction in which I want the trailer to go. And the steering wheel is doing its own thing. But I have to be very mindful, obviously, because I need to go look forward and back, because I don't want to touch the building and I don't want to touch the cones. But as you can, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see right here, there's still a lot of space between the truck and trailer. And I wanted a little bit more steering, but the truck is not giving it to me. I, I'm holding the knob. Once again, I'm able to control, but I just don't feel like I have enough control in a tight area. Huh. Okay, so the second try, I tried to put it in the sparking spot. I did it perfectly straight and nice, except I missed it by one spot. Uh, so I don't quite feel like in this really tight area, uh, the steering control system is giving me enough kind of precision to make a tight turn. <laughs> there you have it. And of course, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and independent and honest reviews.